Welcome to another demo from FIPGauges.com. Today we are showing the Attitude Gauge. Okay, so let's start off with the S keys down the left hand side. Uh, S1 has no function. S2 toggles the nav listening mode on and off so you can hear the beacon. Uh, S3 turns on the nav2 beacon so you can hear the signal from nav2. Uh, S4 4 and S5 toggles between COM1 and COM2 radios, so you can select between COM1 and COM2. Okay, now we have a blue LED which indicates we have a mini menu. The nearest control to the LED is the right hand dial, so we'll twist the right hand dial to bring up the mini menu. First option in the menu is instructions, and if we toggle the left dial, you'll see that it'll bring up little instructions for the mini functions and we'll toggle back off again. Now we'll switch to the next menu item and we have the option to turn side buttons on or off so we'll turn the side buttons on. These labels can be programmed in SPAD.next and if you program the buttons in SPAD.next any programming that I've programmed will get overwritten by your programming um, but it's only the COM frequencies and um, ident that you can turn on and off anyway and you can do that through the menus anyway so it doesn't really matter if you turn the labels on. Uh, next menu option is COM1 and COM2. This enables you to switch to COM1 and COM2 without using the S keys if you've programmed over the top of those. Um, the next function across is listen to NAV1 and this toggles NAV1 on and off like it would if you press the S2. And then Next menu option, listen to NAV2. This will toggle the NAV2 on and off. And it does the same as pressing S3. But obviously, once again, if you've programmed over the top of those, you can still toggle them using the menus. And that's the attitude gate. So please check back for more demos. Uh, thank you very much.